I, you have a you have a frunk and a trunk. Yes, I do. And they're both big. Thank you. Your your frunk is fat. Okay. Let's go home. Welcome back to the pod episode 94. We are inching closer to episode 100 and we still don't have a special episode. Well, I think it's just, it's, <laughs> it's still in flux. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's in development. Marinating. It's development. It's in development. Yeah. It's in development. Yeah. Um. Okay. Everyone's well, like, I gave you a great idea last time. <laughs> Literally. So. You know what someone said in the discord actually is they wanted us to answer a hundred questions for the hundredth episode, which I feel like I think there's about a hundred people out there that would find that interesting. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, it'd feel too much like a rapid fire of a question. I, like how many questions could one answer and still even remember if like, they're even really the answers. It's like when you're thinking about questions, like answers to questions. No, no, but it'd be like, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Go, what co what's your favorite color? Cookie dough, ice cream, or mint chocolate chip, or sometimes a little bit of just like old boring ass vanilla. What else can I help you with? Um, what's your favorite number? Uh, seven. What's your astrological sign? Uh, um, it's Aquarius season. What's your, what's your rising moon? Uh, <laughs> cancer, Capricorn, <laughs> uh, uh, blood. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like those are all kind of Googleable though. So yeah, those are pretty Googleable. Yeah, those are pretty Googleable. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, I, I, we are hearing your ideas, and we are saying no but, to that no, one. No, we're not. We're not saying no to that one. We're just saying we haven't decided that it's a no yet. Right. I saw someone else suggest that they would like to see carpool karaoke in the Tessie. Well, with the crypto market the way it is, we'll see if the Tesla's gonna stick around long enough. Yeah. But I might have to go liquidate that thing. You know what I decided today? What'd you decide? That I would like a Tesla. Today. Today. Well, okay. <laughs> Walk me through that. So I mean, I've always I've always known that if I were to get the Tesla, I'd get the Y. Because okay. it, it's kind of like the closest. So right now I have the Range Rover Evoque, which is like the smallest, littlest, like coupe version uh -huh. of the Range Rover. It's a it's a little guy. It's a four door, but it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he, he's small. He's Aren't small. four doors coupes? Are four doors two door? Aren't coops two doors? I have no idea. Isn't that a thing? I don't know. Anyway, okay, got it. Anyway. It's a little guy. It's it's a little guy. He's, yeah. he's small. Yeah. And so I was always like, oh, you know what? The Y probably seems to close because the X feels so big. Like you can fit a family of 14 in that car. You will be, you'll run, you're a liability. Well, you're a liability in any moving vehicle, but you're really a liability. Like, in an X? Liability in a Y, yeah, is, is bad enough. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And it's so cute. Yeah, it's huge. It's so cute. The X is huge. It's a literal yeah. bus. And yeah. then like, even though yours is like the sporty sedan, it still feels like a boat. It's huge. It's very large. It's big. It is very large. I don't know, a boat. It's kind of a boat. It's a land boat. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a land Do boat. Do you like my Tesla? What? Do you like my Tesla? Oh, sure, I love the Tesla. Okay, got it. I'm still too too scared to drive it. I haven't driven it yet. Yeah, I've given you a key and you said, no, I don't want it. Key. I don't want well, it. Well, no, you, you offered for me to drive it at night, which I feel like my night vision is not great. You're gonna do great. What's the worst thing that could happen? I smack it into something. The, you know, the worst thing that we have is you smack it into something and I can't get an appointment to fix it for like nine months. Right, and then you- Then I'd be mad. Yeah, that, right, exactly. I wouldn't be mad that exactly. you- I mean, like I wouldn't be thrilled that you like smash it into something, but these right. things happen. Right. I'd be more right. upset about like, oh, I have to wait how long? Right. But they busted up everything, that would suck. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Driving with a busted up car is- uh, Nope. It's- uh, Nope. No, no, no. The, my 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 car just has some 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 battle some battle wounds. Yeah, but you, battle battle scars. A hundred percent self inflicted. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Battle, yeah, battle against me versus the car. Anyway, I think you should get a Tesla. <laughs> I think you should order it now because it'll yeah. get here sometime in 2074. I know. I was talking to a friend who got. I think also the why, and she asked how long yours took because uh -huh. I think that she had heard whispers of your trauma with the Tesla and um, wanted to know if she was headed down the same path. Can we get a, a, an accurate depiction of how long a why takes to get here? Oh my God. Actually, I also have another Google that I wanna know. I, I wonder what the length of Ooh. the Range Rover Evoque is versus the length of the Range Rover, over the, of the Y is. You wanna see which one's longer. Which one's boatier? What do you guess? I have no idea. Length of? No, I mean, um, uh, uh, time, the delivery time. Oh, fuck. I Found it. August, August, October? It's not even that bad. Oh, that's what October? Said. Yeah. That's what they said, but like, okay, but don't, don't, no, no, no. Okay. I, I've, I've been, I've been down this road before. <laughs> I've been hurt too many times. Okay, so the length of the Range Rover Evoque, the 2023, which is the new one, which I don't have, but I'm sure it's about the same, is 172 inches. Okay. Okay, so now length of Tesla Y, 172 inches. Oh, oh, 187. 
Okay. That's not bad. Oh, that's like a that's like a foot. That's like a little more than a foot. That's like okay. It's that's fine. not bad. Also, Teslas have nine billion. Wait, sensors. you see how long mine is? Yeah, sure. It's gonna be long as shit. But you know, it could be longer than a what, suit. What did I just say? It was one eighty-seven. Yeah. This is one hundred and ninety-seven. So ten inches more. The, the S. The S. Wow. I told you, Bodhi. Bodhi AF. I'm long. Bodhi, you long boy. Long boy. Long boy. No, I, I it, you like you get in for the first time. You go. This is large. It's very like. Well, also like I, you have a you have a frunk and a trunk. <laughs> yes, I do. And they're both big. Thank you. Your your frunk is fat. Okay. Well, <laughs> I just the the word frunk. I went like I went. Did, did Elon invent that? I think when you Google like how to open the front trunk, it says frunk. Frunk. No, no, no. It's I, like I mean, it makes thing. sense the way that like brunch does. You know, like frunk. Right, but like people have been brunch. doing brunch for. Decades. And we are the beginning of the Frunk era. I, I love it. I love it. Okay, great. Get a Tesla. I think I'm you know what you know what really like ignited the Actually uh, wait. <sighs> no, no, no. You you were encouraging me literally last night to get a Tesla. Okay, here's the deal. Get a Tesla. Yeah. But I'm not gonna like remember to charge it for you. Oh no, 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 no. That's a me problem. Lauren. I've never had an issue with like, I've never run out of gas somewhere. Uh, yeah. But like, if you- if I've you, come close, but I've never run like, out. <laughs> if you were close to go, like running out of electricity. Yeah. Or like, if you had a really busy day, you couldn't just like fill up real quick, you know? Yeah, you can, literally, yes. You drive to a charger. Right, but The like, same way that you drive okay, to a- Okay, but what if uh, you had to go somewhere? What? What if you had to like go somewhere quickly? Oh, I see what you're saying. Like a gas fill up is faster How than many times, a charge. I don't know. In the recent history, do you remember getting in the car and going, oh fuck, I have no gas, but I have to be somewhere now. Okay, but that's different though, because we shared a car for a long time. And so I'm not taking a gauge, like every time I get out of the car, it changes. It's true. Cause like right now I know that I have 7% gas. And so like, <laughs> I know, but I know that because I did that right. to myself. Right. Where it's different when you're sharing a car. Got it. It's gonna be totally fine. Yes, my phone dies all the time. Yes, my AirPods are always dead. Um, but this is gonna be different. Okay. It's gonna be different. No, you know what the, uh, what the decision making uh, moment was today is when I wanted to run into 7-Eleven and get a drink. And I wanted to, I was thinking, I was dreaming about dog mode okay. in a Tesla. Oh, cause Moose was in it. Cause Moose was in it. And you couldn't leave the car on? No. Ooh, yikes. Wait, could you leave the car on, but just lock the doors? But uh, how would you, no. If you have the keys, I don't know. This is for sure how you get your shit stolen. See, this is why Dogma was created. This is why Dogma was created. Yeah. I saw a TikTok, I thought I think a TikTok uh -huh. And it was this drunk girl who was in the back of a Tesla and they had dog mode on. And so it was people who were walking by and this girl is just like blacked out, passed out against the window. And it said like, my owners will be back. The temperature is like 71 degrees. I love it. Like it like keeps it, when I start walking <laughs> towards it, when I like a medium or whatever, it just starts cooling for me. It's so smart. Also, you know, it's totally new in cars because Matt's car also has this too. And I forget what he has, but it's not that much newer than my car. Uh -huh. He's got the same thing that you have with the uh, the AC up the butthole. Oh. Yeah, the Gooch cooler. Oh. The GC. Yeah, yeah the Gooch cooler. The yeah, yeah. Gooch cooler. I will say there's something about having cold air or warm. Yeah. Just blowing up. Um, your cooch. Your ass. Yeah. On a hot summer day. Yeah. I don't know if I could live without it now. I got sticky cheeks all the time. You stay with sticky cheeks, yeah. <laughs> and like, you also wear like no clothing on said cheeks, so they stay sticky. So they stay sticky. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. It's I like know. it's like perpetually volleyball practice season for you. And you complain every time that it turns into bike season. Oh, I bike don't shorts. like biker shorts. It's weird, <laughs> it's weird, don't I don't like them. it. You look weird, it doesn't look good, I don't like it. <laughs> you know what Jeremy also doesn't like that happened this week is bangs. <laughs> I feel like you've been fighting the bangs ever since you got them. Fighting them, what do you mean? I feel like you've had your hair up in like a, a, a bun since the day you got them. So I'm not sure if we fully realize that bangs stay on the outside of the bun, right? But I feel like they've been up in the bun. <laughs> the bangs up have the been bun. up in the bun. Yeah. The bangs have been up in the bun once. Okay. No, but they're great. They're so, you know what? Actually it hides so much forehead that like, if my psoriasis is bad on my scalp or I have a pimple, it just hides all of it. It is so nice. I walked in the house and I mean, like I left the hair salon being like, ooh, Jeremy's gonna be pissed. <laughs> everyone I've always, everyone that I've ever dated has always wanted me to have brown, no bang hair. Huh. Like, I don't know if there's just a porn that like every straight guy ever has watched and like it, the brown straight, the, ba the brown non bang hair was like, that was like the- We the, don't get all of our like, inspiration from porn, Lauren. 
Well, uh, I, don't, I just don't understand why every guy that I've ever dated, literally, I've only dated four people. Four for four, four I've dated four and a half. Four for four people. Let's walk that back. <laughs> have, when you're done. Have always been like, oh yeah, like you look, you look the best when you have brown hair. And I mean, I had a really rough bang period in high school. So like, I understand that, but yeah, no one's a fan of the blonde. Wonderful. The half. <laughs> Because I, I think I know I the story. I dated a guy in high school for like six seconds. I feel like we all did that. Yeah. So why is it a half? Because it was like two weeks. Okay. We didn't even kiss. What happened? I was just like, we should be friends. If I, it, I just, if that ever happens, yeah. just push me in the oncoming traffic. Like, I just. It was, it was one of my first like stupid high school relationships where like he came and went without my dad even knowing that I had a boyfriend. And you woke up one day and said, I just don't think that we're meant to be together forever. Was, so we should just be friends. Yes, and that was the first person I broke up with. Got it, ever. got it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I feel like you need to get out of the way. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, what, okay, think about the amount of time between not like having a kiss for the first time. Yes. And then your second kiss. Yes. Very small amount of time. Say that one more time, the time between- Like it took you forever to get like, have a first kiss. Oh yes. But yes, then when yes, you yes, have yes, one, you're yes. like, okay, well, I know that is. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You're like, gotta get a break out of the way. Yeah, and it's literally just like face mush to face mush. Like kissing is so like, like, you know what I mean? I feel like you get so nervous for that whole situation. Then you're like, wait, I just put my face on your face. There really should be a, a like a, a, just an info sec, like info series almost of just all the dumb things that yeah. aren't a big deal, but are a big deal, but they're not a big deal. Just to get it out of the way. I feel like that's what YouTube is now. Like I just didn't have that when I was- Fuck, you're so right. I know, I know. The amount of like girl talk videos that I've even just done personally in the things that I've answered and then times that by the whole fucking demographic. I think people generally speaking that are just talented can like search whatever they're talented in mm -hmm. and just go, oh, those are my people. And yes. then just like and then you just go find your people all day. Yes, exactly. Like right now you're a B person. I'm actually not on B talk anymore. Oh, you've moved on. I've moved on from B talk. Go on. Well, uh, after last week's episode, I definitely went down a little bit more of like wilderness therapy talk. Yes. Um, But I would say, what kind of talk have I been on this week? I'm trying to think. I mean, I just stay on dog talk. You know what I've kind of been on is swimming dog talk. Okay. A lot of- You're a getting lot of, into a niche? Yeah, of okay. swimming dog talk. I just wish that there was a way for like TikTok to essentially just at the end of the day, uh -huh. give you a quick, like just like, words of what talk you're on. Just, yeah. to, just to kind of like give you like an idea. I don't know if I'd want that kind of level of self-reflection. Really? <laughs> like yeah. if you could just give that to your therapist, right. I think like if you could just like download that to them and they could just look at it and go, oh, okay. I see some patterns, fantastic. I know where to start. You know what I am on is Mariana, Mariana, Mariana Trench talk. Mar Mar Mariana. And I do know what you're talking about, Mariana but if Trench. you could give me a little more. That's how you say that, right? Mar Mariana Trench, Mariana Trench. Yeah, the fucking, the deepest, uh, is the Mariana Trench the deepest part of the ocean? Pacific Ocean. Okay. Oh, and how do we get here? Because I'm on Mariana Trench. Oh, you mean, where is it? Yeah. It, ge uh, geogram, let's see. Um, and also like I knew Mariana Trench mm -hmm. as, a, as a band first. Yeah, it, it was a band. Were they a screamo band, an emo band? Um, Pop punk. Yeah, it's a pop punk. Okay. Thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just think that that would be a thing that you would like have ingrained in your memory. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You definitely know some of their um, bangers. Yeah, some of their bangers. For okay, sure. Okay, so the Mariana Trench is above. Okay, so it's oh, it's to the right of the Philippine Sea. Um, You'll still find crustaceans, translucent snailfish, and sea cucumbers in it. Sea cucumber. That's great. Um. Okay, so it's like way north of Australia. It's like, if you were to swim from Australia straight up to Tokyo, it'd be right in the middle. Okay. Very long I forget swim. how far over. Also, have you ever seen the Peters projection? What the fuck is the Peters Look this up. projection? I think it's Peters projection. <laughs> I think it's Peters or maybe it's another fucking. Yes, Gaul Peters projection. Apparently this is the most accurate visual representation of the world. Oh, I have seen this and it's super weird, yeah, right? so weird. <laughs> It looks so distorted, right? It looks distorted because it looks so we're used distorted. to distorted, right? Yeah. But like, look at Alaska being almost half the size of like, Alaska's nearly, well, there's a Pinterest in the world, but Alaska's like <laughs> about the size of the rest of America. Meanwhile, Africa's fucking huge. Africa's huge. Which I knew, but, okay, like, but like, huge. Also, I feel like our geography classes in high school completely fucked us because the amount of flat maps that you do actually look at, like it's not because we were just looking at a sphere and a globe the whole time. It's because like, you know how many maps I colored in Montessori in kindergarten of that map? Apparently. So many. Like the version that's kind of like popular everyone uses yeah. was from the 1500s. We just never really updated. Oh, like, that's so updated. nice. Yeah. Okay, I wanna go back to the Mariana Trench real quick. Go ahead. Um, it's located in the Western Pacific Ocean, about 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Islands. Okay. The deepest 
oceanic trench on Earth. It is crescent shaped and measures about 2,550 kilometers in length and 69 kilometers in width. I was on TikTok the other day and I saw some on the bottom of the ocean. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It is, oh, oh, it is the deepest part. Okay, deepest location on Earth. It is 11,000 meters or 36,000 feet deep, which is almost seven miles. That's, I can't decide if I think that's really far or really that's the farthest. Well, it is the farthest that, yeah. Also, wow. But also imagine having like equipment that can go seven miles deep underwater but with no it? Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, but like actually can it? I don't think we can get that far down, can we? we? So you can't get that far down, but you can have, you can get far down enough that you can have a camera that sees the bottom. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. It was, anyway, so anyways, I'm on Marion and Trent's talk and it was so cute. Like the biologist, the marine biologist guy was just like so excited and this big, like this big giant, um, Weirdly, see-through giant fish was swimming by. Okay. They're oddly translucent, which is very well, odd. Don't they have to be? I mean, I- They're like see? Don't. They're like kind of infrared down there? I don't think they can see anything. I think a lot of them just like can't see. You know what? I, I know very little about the bottom of the ocean. I think actually we know very little about the bottom of the ocean. I think, yeah, exactly. But my domain knowledge is particularly slim when it comes to this topic. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Marina Trench, big, Big fan of the band. Okay, got it. That's what we'll go and, and also, do for our hundredth episode. We'll do our podcast from the bottom of the trench. From the Mariana Trench. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Oh my God. See like these fuckers all live down there. Oh, oh, absolutely not. Actually the little translucent one's kind of like cute, right? It's kind of like one of the things you'd like, except for the weird shells. That's weird. The whole thing is weird. It's very weird. Like you can see its brain and stuff floating around inside I its head. I can totally understand why those things need to be at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, they can just, they are, I would love for them to stay in their natural habitat down seven miles underground. I mean, it's insane. There's probably a full like <laughs> ecosystem we're not even aware of down there. Well, and so that's why they're so excited about it is because like anytime they see something new, they're like, oh, what the fuck is this thing? And then I they mean, have a whole new species. Those big wireless providers forget that families come in all shapes and sizes. That's why Mint Mobile decided to shake up the wireless industry with their brand new modern family plan. Each line starts at 15 bucks a month and you only need two lines to get started. No matter how big or small your family is, you deserve to save on your wireless service. Phone plans can be so expensive and we are all about saving the Tillys money, which is why we love Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family and at Mint, Families start at two lines. Hear that, Lauren? Two. Family, us. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Plus, Mint Mobile's modern family plan lets you mix and match data plans so everyone gets the amount of data that's right for them. How much data do we think that Bubbies needs? Um, unlimited. Un un Bubbies, you get unlimited data? Do you hear that? The cinematic videos that we take at the park, those aren't cheap, okay? Unlimited. That's right. Unlimited. That's right, unlimited. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan just for 15 bucks a month, including the modern family plan, go to mintmobile.com slash wild. That's mintmobile.com slash wild. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash wild. So I'm, uh, I'm traveling this week. You're traveling this week. Well, actually I'm speaking this week and then speaking I'm traveling. this week and then you're traveling. I thought you're speaking, traveling, speaking, then traveling. Correct. Speaking, traveling, speaking. So speaking at a, at a very uh, uh, nerdy conference in LA. Uh -huh. It could be crypto nerds. And then uh, Friday night in New York. Uh -huh. Big party in New York. Big party in New York. NFT NYC. Mm -hmm. um, and then coming I'm back. really sad that I'm missing NFT NYC because like all of the women led projects were like, not happening last year at this time. And now they are, and I'm, I've got debilitating FOMO, but Jeremy comes back for like a day. And then- Yeah, my travel schedule sucks. This is the fucking kicker is that Jeremy's going to VidCon and I'm not. L O fucking L. <laughs> I'm speaking, you are not attending. <laughs> so Jeremy's going to VidCon and then we're going home. You haven't been back to St. Catharines in- A long time. So wait, would, would it have been, Pre-pandemic? <sighs> Definitely. Right, because Christmas was the first time that I'd been home in forever. And that- Isn't COVID like picking up again now too? It's like uh, it always kind of is. I don't know, I have no idea what's, got it. but yeah. Exactly. Well, anyway, so yeah, I'm got flying Friday. New York. I'm back Wednesday. Back Wednesday. I'd speak Thursday out of town. Big con. And then I leave Friday again. 
for Canada. So just pray for my physical and mental and emotional well being. Well, I mean, I feel like our trip home is very low key. Like we don't do much except for, I will say we, <laughs> so Jeremy is meeting my entire extended family, which is again, made up of very few people. Um, my, okay. my extended family is few people. Yours is my, 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 my like, like in terms of aunts, uncles and cousins is I, about the same size, no? I have like one, I have like five or six relatives. Same. No. Literally same. Really? Yes. Okay. We both have tiny ass families, but I'm saying then, so my mom's aunts, because my Nana- Okay, see that's, I don't have any of that. Right. That, that's what I'm you saying. You do, out there. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> but they abandoned me as youth. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a better health ad this week? Uh, hopefully, go ahead. <laughs> um, so my mom's and my mom and my aant's aunts, which would make them my great aunts. I've never understood this. I've never twice understood removed this. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Cause it's not my second aunt. I, think it's my, I didn't really have enough my... family to really get into it. So that's why I don't know much about it. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. Um, but if I had, maybe I probably would know. Yeah. Yeah. Better if you're out there listening. Com slash WT9. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my, Mom's aunts, which I think are my great aunts. My Nana came from a family of like nine. Right. And um, it's all these adorable little Asians who are about 4'10". You are gonna tower over them. They're so cute and so sweet. And I can't wait for you to meet them. It's gonna be adorable. Are they all women too? Um, I think it's only women coming. She had a shit ton of sisters and then a couple brothers. Got it. Um, but because uh, their family was raised in an internment camp in BC, mm -hmm. people got- which is British Columbia. Which Canada. is British and Columbia. Yeah. British Columbia and British Canada. British and Columbia. British and Columbia. You've got it. Both uh, in Canada. There were a few brothers that had to do specific work things and got shuffled around. So I think there's a few they lost contact with because of the, you know, the world of the cell phone. They didn't was follow not, each other on Twitter. Right, they didn't follow each other on Twitter. Which, yeah. Um, would have been fixed now. So anyway, so most of the sisters, uh, great aunt, is it great aunt? It's gotta be great aunt, right? I don't know. Something like that. Anyways, you're meeting a ton of tiny Asians and I'm Can't so wait. excited. It's Do they know adorable. who I am, do we think? No. Got it. No. Okay. Oh, like they know that they'd be like, oh, Lauren's boyfriend is coming. We get to meet Lauren's boyfriend. And am I, am they gonna be like, Alex, it's good to see you again. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think anyone's, I don't think any of my boyfriends have ever met them. Got it. Congratulations. Thank you. The first boyfriend I'm honored. to meet all the little Asians. I'm excited. I can't wait to take a family photo. It's gonna be adorable. It's gonna be towering. And we're there for what, a week? 10 days? Uh, no, 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 six days. Six days? Seven? Six, six. I thought we were there for a week. No, Friday to Thursday. Got it. Friday okay. To Thursday. It's a busy, it's a busy ass time of year. So funeral, yep. which is not super fun. But is it, is it a real funeral or just like a service? No, 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 like it's, it's, it's like thingy. not even that, not even that. It's a celebration of life. Got it, okay. Celebration of life. Um, And there'll be great sushi, Japanese family. Great. You're gonna love that. And you're not. I'm. It's fine, cucumber roll for life. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have a, um, a family uh, escape room plant. Exciting, <laughs> got it. And uh, can't wait to see all of our brains. I, I actually think that Team Maria Mackey, like including you and I, would actually be very strong with, my mom My mom is uh, really good. At I, think I think we're well-rounded. I think we're well-rounded, I agree. I think yeah. we're well-rounded. I think it's a good game that I, I've, that's a game I can contribute in. Yeah, exactly. Scat, um, the All the artistic games. Ooh, Pictionary. I don't do great. That one is, I. And I also don't enjoy playing them. But love I, you, but I would love to put you on someone else's team for Pictionary. Yeah, no, if you ever want to like win at Pictionary, just play around me. <laughs> Against you. Yeah, not with me. Just Against you. On the, at the same table, but- But not on your team. Right. Yeah. And yeah. by the way, I understand if you don't want to play with me, but also it'd be nice if you just knew I was so bad at it. You're like, oh, we got a Pictionary. No, we don't want to play that. Right. Like, I, why, why don't my hands do, do what it is that I would like them to do? Yeah. But also, you know how we've talked about like, if I need to draw something, yeah, I can't see it in my head. Yeah, this was so weird. I remember this like went viral however long ago where it's like, when you think of an apple, what do you see? Oh God. What do you see? Well, this time I actually saw an apple, but usually I would see it, it, it like spelled out. Okay, when you see, when you see, uh, when you see a, a, when you see a castle, what do you see? I see, a, uh, well, I really see a 2D image. You see a 2D image? I did that time, yeah. Is it in color? It was, it was like, you know what it was? It was 2D of like Walt Disney. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like on the little, like the Disney thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah what do yeah, you yeah. see? Like a like a stone castle with like a moat and the tops that have like the the uppy downy little groove. Things. No, someone's drawing a castle with a wand, going, "You're watching Disney Channel." In my head, <laughs> and it's very, very, very. 
Shadow Dome. watching Disney Channel. Yeah, <laughs> like that's, and by the way, I'm thinking that could be a castle, huh. even though I know that's a Mickey Mouse, but that's how relative design is in my brain. That's so interesting. Interesting is one word for it. <laughs> so interesting. I like when I'm like, just my handwriting, it's yeah. just, this hand doesn't do what? what I want it to do. Yeah, oh, so It makes funny. no sense. I don't know, so crazy. And I don't care how many teachers told me, if you would just slow down, you shut down. <laughs> It's just stupid, <laughs> funny, funny. I'm just so glad I don't have to write anything anymore. Like you oh don't write, God, yeah. just type everything. I had one professor in college who was adamant that we could not type our notes because I mean like realistically, he, right, was, he was completely accurate in that we were all fucking around on our laptop, but it was still taking better notes than what I would be taking by hand. Just short of math class, you should be able to type out anything. Oh my God. And like kids now these days that have their little tablets that can write kids, all the these notes. Kids these days. Kids these days. Yeah. yeah. I know, they got it good. Um, yeah, but would you wanna go to college now? Fuck no. Hell no. No, not, not at, at all. all. Literally not at all. Not at all. Um, okay, got it. So that's my update. Okay. We saw um, Top Gun and the entire internet is thirsting after Miles Teller. Go on. Uh, I don't get it. Miles Teller? Yeah, I don't get it. That one makes no sense to me. There's, I feel like there's a combination, there's a few different sides happening on the internet right now. Yeah, please, Laura, um, enlighten me. And, and and so I, oh wait, there's the beach gif. Yeah, we'll get the beach gif on screen so you can see the exact uh, scene. I also saw, okay, a couple things. This is, uh, you know what? I'm also on Top Gun talk right now. Okay. Um, or like- That's pretty close to military talk. You're gonna be on war talk soon. It's more like Miles Teller talk, if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, so everyone is thirsting after Miles Teller right, right. now. Um, because there's one specific scene where he's on the beach and it was the one, the scene though, where you're like, oh, this looks like it's straight out of like a Hollister and Abercrombie commercial. It was, back in the day. Like they're just like oiled up and they're just like doing their- Like jeans and sand. Jeans and sand. No, you know how uncomfortable it is to run around in jeans well, on the beach? I think they were trying to be like, oh, we like last minute ended up on the beach to play some like really oiled up football. That was the idea with that. Aber I think that yeah. was Abercrombie and Fitch. Right, you're so right. Um, but I saw, I think on TikTok, um, <laughs> behind the scenes and it was the the PA who was just like putting oil all over them for the shot. Just and, oiling. And just oiling them, just oiling them. Everyone in the comments were like, how do I get this job? <laughs> that person's probably like, I just need one more gig for sag after. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. literally. So it's a combination of people thirsting after their newfound love for Miles Teller because okay. he did looks, I feel like normally he plays like kind of like a villain or a dick or really? like a, like the funny guy. Yeah. yeah. But he's never like the heartthrob. You know what I mean? Like I, after watching this thing, I still don't see it as the heartthrob. Oh, oh wow. A compilation. So can I, I think, so can I grow my mustache like that? That's all I want to know. Absolutely not. So why can he? Absolutely not. So are you, do you like that mustache? Do you want that to mustache? kiss you? Mustache? No, I don't want that mustache to kiss me. I don't want that mustache I just like, to kiss me. You would not allow me to have that mustache. No, not at all. I don't want you to have that mustache. So why can he have that mustache? because I'm not his wife. So the other side of TikTok is that now that the whole internet is thirsting after Miles Teller, his wife sees that it's happening and capitalizing on it and and just like knows knows that everyone wants to be her right now. And so she's posting all of these compilations of like him looking hot and then them looking coupley and them being in love. <laughs> and all the comments are like, she knows exactly what she's doing because <laughs> she's gloating about her love with Miles Teller. Listen, because I'm excited for everybody who's excited about it. You know I just don't get it. You know who's extra excited about, about Miles Teller? Is um, Bryce Hall. He shaved himself a nice little mustache that looks exactly like Miles Teller. And, and it's so funny. I feel like he just saw how much hype was going on around Miles Teller right now and this whole mustache situation. And wait, Devin, go to his Instagram. His like newest photo is, or like just his display photo is literally like on the beach with his little mustache. I feel like maybe the mustache- Oh yeah, there it is right there. Oh it's, my God, that's just Miles Teller. Oh, I'm getting a mustache. Why? Because do you also want to be Miles Teller slash Bryce Hall? Yeah, that's my new- That's your new goal? That's my new goal in life. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I've yeah. never had a mustache and I don't think it's ever gonna happen. I don't think that's for you. My dad had a mustache in like 1995. Doesn't he still kind of have one? No, he has, he has the, a goatee. He has the goatee, yeah. goatee yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The reverse, the reverse mustache. It's not a reverse mustache, it's, it's, a, it's a mustache add-on. Got it, okay. Yeah, Got it's it. like the expansion pack. Okay. It's the mustache right. expansion. Yeah, yeah, because you have right. the mustache and you, you grow the other half. Got it, okay. Yeah. I just like it'd be tough to eat. Uh, oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's not worth it. It looks like, it, uh, eating with any kind of facial hair looks like a lot of work. This isn't bad. Even like even like when you brush up against something furry, fur gets caught in your um, beard every time, like a fuzzy. You get caught in my beard sometimes. Yeah. You don't my, like it. It hurts my face. Um, You went to Pride this weekend? Went to Pride this weekend. It was so much fun. It's my first Pride. I like, I don't know if it's because I'm, 
Couple things made me cry this week. One, <laughs> a possum got hit on our street. Cried yeah, all the way to the gym. I also evaded a possum, I think the same day. <gasps> and so I really just prolonged its life. It was like it was like a like a freshly passed possum. Actually, you know what? The only thing I've ever hit driving ever was a possum. Oh man, I hit a raccoon once. It was really bad. It was on the freeway though too, and so I I didn't like I I didn't see it. I felt it and I heard it. Oh. And then when I got off the freeway, I saw the specific colors of fur in like the front grate of my car, and it was. Really Oh no. Well, meanwhile, I saw the possum just long enough out to like start to like slow down Yeah, and it didn't move. And so I ran over it at about four and a half miles an hour, hour versus like, you know, 60. Wasn't great. My mom was in the car. What? She was like, just keep driving oh. now. You need to drive that poor thing. And I'm like, I have messed up. I was on the way to the gym and I literally, I had tears rolling down my face the entire time. Because you saw the dead rat possum? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They're not cute. Are you kidding? Have no. you seen a mother possum carry its whole, all the baby possums on its back? Uh, have I you never seen this? Oh my I God. I think I have, and what? I don't think it's cute. It is so cute. For, for also possums have a fuck ton of babies. They have like 12 babies. Yeah, no, that's babies, not and they cute. I, Remy, carry I'm them sorry. all over their back. Yeah, remember Tinky? Look at how cute. Oh my God. Oh, they're adorable. They look oh, a lot more like so moose cute. than I like them too. <laughs> Gotta be honest. <laughs> The body, the face, so the ears. I know, it's the proportions too, you know? Oh my God, just like, they just look like- Look how cute they are. I can hear it hissing. They do hiss, I we think, We have yeah. a lot of possums in our yard. I know. We have one less in the neighborhood now, though, and I'm really sad. Yeah, I'm not upset about that. Really sad. Don't they eat trash too? I don't know, I don't know. Okay. What were we just talking about before the possum though, before something that made me cry? I will say foxes are pretty cute. Juniper fox, adorable. Oh, juniper fox is adorable. You went to pride, you got about halfway there, but you started to cry. Oh, 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 no, no, I, I, I like teared up a few times at Pride. There were just like so many nice like moments. It was like so, it was so fucking just like wholesome and happy. And I was just like so happy to be there as an ally. You were there for a long time. Yeah, it was, it was a whole like, thing. I'll be, there by, I'll be back for like one or two. I was like, okay. I was like, I came home at like back five. At, yeah, I was like, yeah, I know. Shit, all right, hit no, the couch. It was so fun. I mean, people just like had great outfits. Everyone was so nice to each other. It was just like, everything just felt so safe. You know what I mean? Like I just felt happy for like, gay, trans, LGBTQIA plus like community that like didn't have to think about, like I saw so many people walking around with like their top surgery scars, you know what I mean? And like, mm -hmm. that's something where if someone would go to the beach, they'd be like probably self-conscious about it and like thinking that people would be like, oh, like, what is that? That would be a place you would almost double down on it. Be like, this is a part of me. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. And right. it was just like so sweet, like seeing all of that and people being like loud and proud about it. It was such like a, it was such a like, wholesome, cute and I'm sanitary. glad you got to go. I uh, did some laundry. There was also this church. <laughs> There was also this church that was on the um, the parade path and they had all these signs and they were like out on their church front porch thingy being like, um, we're so glad you're here. Oh, for, so first nice. time a church has made you cry Literally ever. Literally a first time a church. But I was like, because I mean, that just goes against, you know, so many different elements of, you know, it, it's 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 a messy- Walk us through it. It's, it's a messy mingle. With a messy mingle? It's a messy mingle with different religions. Got and it. so anyway, I don't know. I'm not actually sure what religion that church specifically was, but I feel like typically, you know, it's it's not the most fun. It's, it's, a, it's a messy mingle. And you know, this, it can get messy. It, it can, can get messy. And this was not a messy mingle. This was a happy mingle. Okay, good. And I was so wholesome and I was so happy to be there. I'm glad you went. I'm so glad I went. I have not gone during the day. I found out like, a, a, like events at night. Did you fucking see in Idaho that there was a U-Haul truck uh -huh. of 31 white supremacists stuffed in this U-Haul that had like a riot attack plan for the Idaho pride parade? And then what happened? Someone called and was like, hey, I just saw a bunch of guys in the same uniform load themselves into the back of a truck with like masks and uniforms I on. just want to point out that if that happened in Florida, they'd be like, yeah, no, totally, that's, that's totally normal, all yeah. good. Like at least Idaho is like, yeah, that's slightly odd. Yeah, someone saw that and they were like, and I, I was reading like the article and I was like, so KKK? Okay, okay, okay. But also I'm a, a little confused at like, what do they, how do they stop them? Uh, you have to almost come up with a citation to be like, so no, so. no, they like banged on, I guess, I guess, actually I don't really know what happened because they got caught when they were still in the U-Haul. Like when they opened up the thing, they banged on the thing, they opened it and they all like had their hands up because they knew they got busted. Got it. Well, yeah. okay. But like busted for what? Um, Assembling? Mis misdemeanor, I guess. But misdemeanor for what? The, I don't know, being sketchy white fucks. You, yeah, actually that's actually quite legal, <laughs> unfortunately. Being a sketchy white fuck. Yeah. 
Um, let me see. Because you, it, it is legal to be an idiot in the back seat, despite the fact that you're about to go do something stupid. I just think it's like, I'm surprised they were able to like disarm that before it happened. Yeah, they also didn't have guns on them. I think they had knives and shields and stuff, oh. but they weren't. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Uh, police arrested 31 white supremacists crammed into a U-Haul with a detailed riot plan in Idaho. Um, one of America's most infamous white nationalist organizations called the Patriot Front members. Patriot Front members? Yeah. It's a stupid name. Arguably dumb. They came to riot. Oh, okay. So I guess based on the things they had with them, the possessions and the paperwork that they had with them, they came to riot. So I think there's probably like a riot plan, like an attack plan type of situation. Okay. Um, they had drawn out? They got, yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. They had okay. one smoke grenade, it says. Oh yeah, that's right. One smoke grenade. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then those arrested came to Idaho from at least 10 different states. <gasps> what the fuck? By, by the way, look, what? Idaho? Yeah, I know. That's, that's where they're starting? I you would know. think like a bigger one like LA or but, New York. Right, also, yeah. Also, the LGBT of Idaho, Idaho has gone like gone through enough. Seriously, I Pick know. a different <laughs> state. Let the LGBT in Idaho live. Let yeah. them live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I saw- Come down to Texas and see what happens there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a photo. Someone was like, here are the mugshots of the hate group slash domestic terrorist Patriot Front who tried to disrupt a pride of- who tried to disrupt a pride event in Idaho, happy pride. I bet like the, for, for the like their specific forum of the internet. Yes, look at them. But look like, at these ugly oh, fucks. It's all angry I, white boys. I know it's all, they're surprisingly young too, which is like the worst. But can you imagine how much of a failure they now must be to their tribe? Um, you know, they're hiding in the closet. Yeah, yeah exactly. What, how many of those guys so are hard. in the closet still? hundred percent. One of my friends retweeted and was like, you know what? I'd be hateful too if I was that fucking ugly. <laughs> and like, do we fight hate with hate? No, but like, fuck all of these guys. You deserve to be publicly shamed as you're doing on this podcast and on all of like the, guy, the headlines. Second from the bottom on the left, honestly looks as if like, he's like questioning the person taking the camera. Like, are you sure you're not involved? Like, like mm -hmm. he's like, no, uh, on the left. Yep, top, one more up. Is no nope, left. Yep, that one. <laughs> His face just looks particularly stupid. They all just like, like wildly punchable. Honestly, some of these some of these faces, I was like, oh my God, they got distorted. I was like, that sucks that they got someone like face tuned their faces to be all distorted and shit to like make them look even weirder, but that's actually just what they look like. Yeah, that, you know what? You're allowed to be really fucking rude to white nationalists. I mean, that dude's face legitimately looks like it has gone through some shit. I don't condone bullying unless it's to white supremacists. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The world does not need them out and about running about making a muck of everything. Making a muck. Making a muck. Messy mingling. Making a messy mingle. Making a messy mingle. What else you got? <laughs> okay, well on a on a more positive uh, headline front, uh, this is the most wholesome, but also, I, I, I don't wanna use the word, word wholesome because <laughs> it's only wholesome because it's like a, a whole, okay, anyway, I'm gonna just read it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great preface. <laughs> Two workers rescued after falling into chocolate tank at Mars Wrigley factory in Pennsylvania. No injuries reported. <laughs> oh my God. First, this is kind of like like cat stuck in a tree type of rescue, I feel like. Except for, I wonder how much how expensive it is to drain the chocolate tank. Right, 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 right. Cause also, so they were uh, waist deep in chocolate, noting that the chocolate was warm. Unclear how they fell into the tank. <laughs> Both patients transported to a nearby hospital. Um, external contractors have been taken offsite for further evaluation. Um, so two people accidentally fell into a vat of chocolate into a chocolate tank at the I, Mars factory. I feel like the Mars factory was like, Mr. Beast getting a lot of attention for chocolate. We should just do something. This literally, like the fact that this came after the Mr. Beast video is wild. Simulation. Simulation. Yes. Um, what is it, Mars? Did, have you ever been to the Ben and Jerry's factory in Vermont? I've actually never been to Vermont. <gasps> It's one of the only We must I've been go to, to Vermont. You're lactose intolerant. I did love the Ben and Jerry's. Factory, yeah, but though. once again, you are lactose intolerant. I am lactose For everyone intolerant. listening, you're still lactose I'm intolerant. I'm still lactose intolerant. I feel like it'd be a good time though. But like, oh my God. when are we gonna be in Vermont? I don't know, Vermont was actually very pretty when I was there. Right, but when are we gonna be there? Vermont is very close to Canada. Right, but when are we going <laughs> to be there? I don't know, the same time we'll be in Latvia. Like also, okay, rude. We'll be in Latvia way before Vermont. You one. think? Absolutely. Okay. I can feel it. And then two, <laughs> When's the next time we're gonna take a road trip? Oh, who said anything about road trips? What the fuck? Yeah, we're not going that anytime soon. I don't know if you've met me, but I can't go an hour and 15 minutes. I don't know if I'll ever go on a road trip ever again. Road trips are not for me. I, I'm, and we've talked about this before. The day we have a kid, we're gonna go, meatloaf and road trips sound good. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna become lame. Some tear off cargo pants, it is my time. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like more and more of my friends have kids, I realize like actually nothing does change. You're just the person that you are. This is the same thing that I told you about with tattoos. Remember, you're just the person that you are and you just- you then again, at the end, at the same time, you do also become your parents. A hundred percent. So maybe, maybe there's a little bit of both. You know what video I'm gonna film this week? What's um that? <laughs> Is reacting to my Pinterest boards from high school. Do you still have them? <laughs> yeah, I still have them. I still have them because they're all private, right? So I've never thought about like purging them because no one can see them anyways. I'm shocked. But I've got a tattoo board and I've got a wedding board. From- How bad is it? Oh, it's, I I mean, you know what? I, I just What are you scanned- more embarrassed of? Probably the, well, I know for a fact that I have this really random picture of Chris Evans on my wedding board. Okay, great. <laughs> have you seen the movie, um, What's Your Number? No. It is one of my all time favorite rom-coms. It is the most underrated rom-com of the entire world of media and entertainment. Uh-huh. What's Your Number? Chris Evans, that's where I was introduced to him. He was he was What's Your Number, Chris Evans, before he was Captain America for me, 100%. Okay, got it. Um, oh, oh, the best movie, so underrated. Absolutely underrated. And so you look at, him right there and those, this, this is you, huh? This had to have come out. When did this come out? What's the release date? Is it like 2011? Why does he look older here than he is now? I know it's a bad haircut. It's not a good haircut. Yeah, 2011. 2011. 2011. Oh, I knew it. Okay, so I graduated high school in 2011. Yes, yeah, so this is right on track. So it would have been sometime in university when I added Chris Evans to my Pinterest board in the wedding category. Um, and so I, I think the tattoos will actually be worse. <laughs> The, t- yeah. the Pinterest board for tattoos. I assure you it's nothing worse um, than the Rotten, t- Rotten Tomato scores of 23%. That's fucking <laughs> blasphemy. You I, know what it is? I bet those fucking white supremacists watch this movie and vote. Yeah, it's fucking white supremacists, yeah. 100%. I bet, I bet. Oh, that is so rude. Okay, so, so he was on your wedding- Pinterest board. Pinterest board. Right. I right. Would, no, can we have a, a quick segment on the pod at some point to go over both of these? You can do your vlog first, but I do want to see some of it. You want to see some of it? I want to see some of the hits. Some of the- Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's actually, what's the worst tattoo idea you didn't go through with? Well, I, I knew that I was never allowed to get tattoos until I was financially dependent. So everything that I added to my Pinterest if, board- Financially independent. Fi- right, I was financially <laughs> dependent for a very long time. And then, yeah. Mm-hmm. For majority of my life still, I think. Oh yeah, majority of my life until I was probably about 20, I got my first tattoo, maybe 21, uh-huh. financially independent. Uh-huh. Um, so definitely the majority of my life. So anyways, all the tattoos that I added to my tattoo Pinterest board when I was in university would have been tattoos that like, I was like, oh, this is fun. This is cute. This is, this is, you know, um, right. possible for the future, but it never was serious because I knew that I wasn't allowed to get tattoos. Got it. I'm still not allowed to get tattoos. Right, I was gonna but- say, you're still, this isn't changed by the way. It makes your mom very upset. Right, but- In fact, she's gonna be upset that we're talking about it right now. Yeah, that's okay though. But what's the worst idea? You have to have had one you like- There was there was definitely um, some really cheesy ones, but I'm scared to say them because I know it's some, like I know somewhere someone has all of these tattoos. Okay, what's not for you? What's not for me is that there was- um, Just skate around that one. Yeah, we'll just skate around that. That's that's exactly the verbiage I'm gonna use when I film that video too. Uh-huh. Cause like even the wedding ones, I'm like this dress, not, not for, for me, you. but I know someone got married in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're actually gonna be shocked just how many people have that exact dress that you well, were like- the this amount of people ever. that DM'd me after we talked about engagement heart-shaped ring shopping. Rings. Heart-shaped rings, oh my God. Somebody obviously didn't listen to us very well and said, I have a bunch of heart-shaped rings if you're interested. Someone said that to you? Oh, I have so many offers for diamond dealers in my DMs, even the wow. bots have hit. Wow. No, not wow, annoying wow. at this point. It's cute until it became a bot it's fest. Right, until it's a bot fest. Yeah. Um, but one of the, one of like the real basic bitch ones that yeah. is just, that is still really nice, but just not for me, is <laughs> I had, there's like on on the wrist or like on, yeah, no, it was, it was on the wrist. It was really popular in like this, uh, um, it's a serif font. Okay. I think it's called c- Comic Book. Comic Com- Sans? No, 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 no. Comic Sans is a disgrace to all designers everywhere. Okay. And that's a, that's a sans serif. It's, it's like, um, uh, it might be, it might be comic book Sans. <laughs> or no, Cooper, I feel Cooper. Like you're just making shit up at this point. Cooper Sands. Cooper Sands, the Cooper Sands where it, it's a serif font. No, 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 it's not Cooper, that's not right. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna find the picture this of the exact niche. tattoo. And anyway, it said, breathe. That breathe. was, that was, that was the tattoo? That was the tattoo. Okay. Reminder to breathe. Okay. Yeah, I, just breathe. I gotta be honest, that wouldn't <laughs> be shocking if you had that on your body. No, that's not the worst one. Um, There was, there was, I don't think there's anything like really, really bad that I was like, I was like, this I is would, embarrassing. this is really embarrassing. What, what about your Tumblr? 
He recovered some of your oh, original Tumblers. Oh man, I don't even know what's on my Tumblr. I'm sure there's some weird shit. That's a whole video in itself reacting to my old Tumblr. What do you think the weirdest thing on your Tumblr is? Cause I, I feel like I can confirm, I, confer- my I think I can confirm this. Cause that's mean? public, right? Oh yeah. Oh, I could. Oh, oh we, yeah, we I, could. Definitely, I can confirm. This. We could. We could spend a whole episode going down a deep What's dive. What's the weirdest on? thing on your Tumblr? I don't know. And is it where you've discovered your sexuality? No. Okay, got it. I wouldn't have publicly reposted anything on Tumblr. But did you discover your sexuality on Tumblr? No, my sexuality was definitely more solidified before Tumblr. Got it. Okay. For sure. Was it gifts? But there were. I feel like Tumblr had so much porn on it. Gifts. Gifts. Gift porn. The gift porn was out of control yes. on Tumblr. Oh yes. my God. That's how Tumblr died is when I think people, they, they banned porn. And I, don't, just I don't know what they're thinking. Stupid. Down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Dumb. Um, yeah, there's there's probably some real, real, you know what it was is that I was I was on Tumblr in like my my kind of like emo stage. Okay. And so I would Ooh. say there's some like real, like wannabe, like emo alt girl type of shit on there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. You're looking for like wolves. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Like we wolves. don't have to do this on this episode. So it's, no. it's like wolves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just trying to. No, no, no. Oh, you, thank God. Go, so thank go God. To, actually, I get No, it. no. Ah, I hate this episode. Is it like an like underscore? Yeah, for sure. Hold on. <laughs> I hate this so much. I hate this. Wow. Wait, I thought Tumblr was blue. They changed it to purple. That's so rude. The dashboard color is different. Why would they do that? This is like ruining everything. I mean, it does look actually oddly similar. The layout is really still so. Got it. Oh, fuck. Here you go. Um, <laughs> no, no. I just found mine. Oh, that's yours? <laughs> I was gonna say, this looks like we're logged in over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the uh, chat? No. Oh my God, yes. No. Some of this is oddly, like, this isn't even that old. Oh yeah, this isn't old. This is like pink, pink uh, hair era. Oh, you know what though? There was a time where my Instagram would also just sync to my Tumblr so I can tell these are all just Instagram photos and these are, none of these are actually like reblogs from other Tumblrs. What the fuck? This is just my Instagram feed. Wait, oh, here we go. If you scroll down far enough. Is this, oh. photo, is this photo of you with your back turned to the camera? Of course, with the is pink hair. That's oh yeah, the that is so, this is so Tumblr. I know, oh my God. Oh God. I found January and February of 2010. Here we no! go. Oh my God. Oh God. Look at this tattoo photo of a guy in a <laughs> cafe. <laughs> Oh, that's so moody. <laughs> that could be you now. So much. <laughs> no. Whoa. Whoa. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. <laughs> like the Cara Delevingne uh, era of eyebrows. Wow, Lauren, this might be my favorite form of you. I just don't know wow, about you, this. You were, wow. How did you get done 2011 so fast? That you can go by month. Oh, can you? I see. Joseph Gordon Levitt and a weird sweater. Oh, you know what? I loved that movie, um, 500 Days of Summer, I think it was called. Okay. That was a great movie. Oh my God, Alexis Ren and Jay Alvarez when they were like the it couple. Do you pictures of them? Oh my God. This is like, there's still pieces of you in all of this really. Um, I don't know if I like hearing that. <laughs> what do you mean? So you're not completely different than what you used to be? What? What? It's okay to have inspiration from yourself. Yeah, no, 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 totally, totally, totally. Just so much tease, Exit. so much tease. A lot of Mac Miller. So much teased hair. Yeah, a lot of Mac Miller. Still love Mac Miller. Nothing's changed there. A lot of bad makeup. A lot of bad makeup. Yeah, uh-huh. A lot of like Brandy Melville, like the era that I'm looking at right now is like the Brandy Melville era of like photos. Some Vanessa Hudgens. Oh, when she was, when Vanessa Hudgens was like Coachella queen. That was like a, that was an iconic period for me. That really, that really stuck out. There's something about you and skinny dudes with tattoos. The fact that I ended up yeah. with like a clean cut preppy tech bro I'd who's like, to, like- I'd like to put in after looking at these guys showered as well. Showered. No, but like, you're just like, you're so traditionally good looking. Thank you. And I can't believe I ended up with someone who's like actually hot and not like kind of grungy, gross hot. You know what I mean? It got, it got nice towards the end there. Yeah. <laughs> it took a second, but we got there. Did, yeah, your, but- did your tumble like pop off? No. Like this looks like the type of tumble I would have seen in high school. That it been, was like, like kind of good. She's popular. <laughs> like. I definitely, I definitely wanted to be popular, but I didn't start YouTube until university. So I would have had like my Tumblr going, like she yeah. was going strong. Call me crazy, but like, I genuinely don't think anybody at my high school used Tumblr at all. Really? If they did, I didn't talk to them. Mm, you know what? I'm sure it's a lot of, the, no, you know what? If you knew the drama kids, I'm sure the drama kids were on Tumblr. 
Yeah. Drum on music and art kids for sure on Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. I I'm just saying this feels like a, an entire world that I was aware of, but did not participate with. Wow, what a trip down memory lane. I'm so glad that we could all do that together. And well, audio listeners, I am so glad that you are on audio today. I'm thankful <laughs> for you lacking the visual experience because you don't need it. <laughs> well, I can't, oh my gosh. Oh my, you could filter by chat and questions. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no, no, a little this, okay. this could be you. Me, panics when I feel things, also me. Panics when, oh, hold on. Panics when I feel things, also me. Panics when I don't feel things. <laughs> That is that might as well just be you right now. So nothing has changed. Yeah, nothing has changed. Uh huh. Oh, uh, I really wish that we weren't doing this, you guys. This is <laughs> super fun, but well, if it makes it, you feel better, mine was from when I was fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> like just looking at the bio, I'm so embarrassed for myself too. I feel you. I feel you. It's okay. It was a it was a specific time. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a moment. Oh, yeah. I got it's you. It's a moment. It's a moment. Oh. You reposted this. Need okay. condoms right there in the fucking aisle in a supermarket or CVS. Need female birth control? Nah, bruh. Need a prescription and the consent of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I feel like that's something you would say right now. I would still say that. Yeah, I think this is I think this is a lot more accurate than you're giving on. <laughs> right, so not that much. I saw a TikTok. They think it's TikTok. Wait, do you have one more? I'll stop dressing in black when they invent the darker color. I still love black. Yep. I still for someone who I like just has always <laughs> I had teenage angst. Lauren, I just hit 250,000 subscribers with the actual F. That was October, 2013. Wow. Were you popping up on Tumblr before anything else? No, 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 no. I was still doing YouTube. I was doing like, obviously Tumblr I'd been doing since high school. And so I was still doing Tumblr when I was on um, YouTube. Okay, yeah. Um, Cause I remember, I remember there was a time where there was some overlap where I was doing Tumblr and YouTube. Cause I used to do Q and A's on Tumblr sometimes. Guys, I'm so glad a lot, of, a lot of my new subscribers found my Tumblr, but my inbox is a huge fat bitch of messages right now from your guys' love. Please be patient with my replies. Like, Nothing has changed. Huge fat bitch. Nothing has changed. I'm dead. Oh my God. I, this is honestly, I feel like I'm I'm dating you in all, all of these months. Right, okay. Well, so, you know, even if I had gotten some of those bad tattoos from, you know, when I uh, when I pinned them on my Pinterest board in 2012, yep. maybe things just haven't changed that much. You might wanna um, uh, consult some of the FTC guidelines for these giveaways you were doing, but that's okay. D done, done and done. Yeah. Giveaways completed. Honestly, I have so much to look through this evening. I would really love if we actually just skipped that portion of the uh, evening. I just really wish more than anything, you could record, and we would have to do this equally, otherwise it wouldn't work. I would have to go on a date with you from this era, and oh, you have to go on a date with me from that My era. God, we would hate each other. Okay, which one would go better? Which one would go better? Which one would go better? Maybe me with, College me? College you? Oh my God, really? Well, cause I think it would be just more enjoyable for me cause I'd be like, ew, <laughs> like fuck boy. <laughs> I, okay, okay. But I guess the question would be if I had context or not. Like if I was just dropped off and like we had to go on a date together and like you didn't know that's Oh, I weird. thought I thought you meant, I thought you meant just like, yeah, like do we have context? I think that I'd love to see it both ways. No context and then one's like, hey, you're with each other. Right, you know, like, right. like years later. Years later. A, a pet pig living with each other on talk about this on a podcast. Yeah. Moose was up to have place. Moose Ooh. was uh, okay. I'm so upset. Moose was supposed to have a play date with a pig tomorrow, but and it got canceled because. And I'm so sad because the neighbors. Because so I have a friend who lives on like a very large lot of land, mm -hmm. and um they have a pig who is <laughs> about 18 pounds I think right now. Okay, and, so that's got to be a baby, right? Uh he's like a toddler. Okay. I think he's like almost a year old now. Because pigs get big, right? Pigs can get big. So, and the whole like mini pig industry is like a little fucked up. Okay. It, and by fucked up, I mean like really fucked up. Okay. Um, and how far off is the mini pig industry from the, the mini bull terrier industry? Mini bull terrier industry, mm, probably cousins. Okay. But there's not actually mini pigs. There's just like runs of regular size pigs. I like how you put the pounds in, not thinking it was gonna, wasn't gonna be cooked. <laughs> These are all just cooked. When you do things oh, by no. pound, that's they're just, dead. That's ham. That's just ham. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, ham. that's cooked ham. <laughs> so anyway, pickle and moose are supposed to meet tomorrow. And the neighbor, I guess, I guess pickle has been making pig noises in their backyard. It's so the neighbor complained. And so they have to do some. Do we have a, a possum pig mix? Yes. Cause that's what I'm looking at here. Yes, we do a possum pig mix. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's see what comes up.
So that's that's just Moose. Yeah, it's Moose. That's just Moose. Yeah. <laughs> Moose and I today have been uh, almost entirely inseparable for the entire day. Right now at um, 10.05 PM. Also, wow, wow till 10. Let's wow, go. look at us. Yeah, that's so impressive. This is the first time today we've been apart. I just wanted to know why possum starts with O. Yeah, O possum. Yeah. Yeah. Makes no sense. I know. I don't love that. It makes no sense. It's like a. It's like a pterodactyl. Um, pterodactyl. I was gonna say pterodactyl is one of those ones that's. But also, stupid. like when the pterodactyl was around, it wasn't like we were calling it a pterodactyl. I don't think, right? Right. No. Some idiot afterward was like, "Hey, you know, it'd be fun. Pretty cool if we did. Put a silent P. Stupid. Stupid. That's like one of those things we were like, you know, what we could do. Let's fuck with them. <laughs> Let's fuck. Let's with see how it goes. Everyone. I just think I, the, the whole idea of like someone like inventing a language, even just like no, no, no. We'll call that anything, sandwich. All right, right. <laughs> but like, it's like, you can just make shit up until like, oh, it just caught on. Until it's, until yeah, everyone is- And we're still doing it today. Onboarded, yeah, yeah. Like, do you think they started up with like three words and they just like continue to make inside jokes until we have a fucking language? And they have a language, yeah. Because that's kind of how like language works now. Yeah, hundred percent. If it doesn't hit pop culture, either it doesn't happen or no one hears about it to the point where they understand and accept it. What did, um, was it, I think WAP got added to the dictionary, wet ass pussy? Uh, okay, well, that's an acronym. What? That's an acronym. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Lil Nas, Lil Nas oh, sorry, X tweeted about this. For a second, this. you were just um, like insulting Italians out there. No, no, oh my God. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. That's, that's what I heard. Lil Nas X. Um, also, I'm dead that he has his Twitter as Obama's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Here on dictionary.com. It's looking what? like it's a thing. Yeah, dictionary.com. What? What does it say? What's the, uh, what's the, the. <laughs> Doesn't have an exact definition. <laughs> right, because they're probably like, we're gonna get taken down. Some <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, moist on uh, um, the, uh, the ultimate guest for this podcast would be Lil Nas X for me. What, really? I mean, yeah. he's just so funny. Yeah, no, we wouldn't get much like done or accomplished. We'd just sit there and giggle. Wow, we're the day today. Volplane. To oh. glide toward the earth in an airplane with no motor power or with the power shut off. Volplane. It's, it's called Nightmare. Yeah. Um, okay. It, was that all the, the topics we had? No, we had Discord. Oh, and oh, a new a new word, NB. LGBTQ community and NB is a non-binary person. Wow. How do we spell that? N, uh, so it's it stands for, uh, so non-binary, so N and then B, but it's spelled oh. E-N-B-Y, N-B. Okay. I'm trying to find the response oh, to what- Oh, 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 for, okay, little no thanks. For Pride Month, it's really important that our government finally takes a stand and adds bussy to the dictionary. <laughs> And then they respond and they're like, we added a WAP, so anything's possible. <laughs> Honestly, did you say the government? That's where I saw that. Um, that our government finally takes a stand and adds bussy to the dictionary. I like how he's like, the government should add it to the dictionary. Who does run the dictionary? Merriam. Who's Merriam? Webster. Who's, yeah, but like, like by what standards do they get to decide? That bitch. That bitch. Yeah. With the, with the WAP. Listen, when you get to become someone who's, listen, who controls typing? Mavis Beacon. You're right. Who Mavis. does the dictionary? Merriam Webster. Webster. You're right, yep. you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, so right. our next two episodes are pretty special. Pretty special? Pretty special. Yeah. Um, we've got a guest next week who I'm very excited about. And it's been someone that's been, rec uh, not recommended, um, requested a bunch. And then I've got a solo episode. And by solo, I mean that I've got two guests coming and uh -huh. it's gonna be it's gonna be a hot mess. I'm so excited for the, the, not to say that I'm excited for you to not be here, but I am excited for the episode where you are not here and it'll be me and two other people. Because okay. it's gonna be a hot shit show mess. I think it's gonna be great. Excited. It's gonna be so good, are you kidding? I can't wait until like you like record it on a phone because you can't figure out how to work the stuff. A hundred percent. No, I got Devin now. We're gonna, we're, it's gonna be great. It's gonna uh -huh. be fine. Um, but, so I went on Discord in the Wild Tonight channel today and I was like, I was The hottest to, channel on your Discord? Today, the Wild Nine channel was fucking popping. What I mean today was, it always is the hottest, it is the hottest. That, that is- That and girl talk, I just don't, I don't participate in that one. General besties. Got it. Pups and pets, mm -hmm. tattoos and piercings. Mm -hmm. um, and is there a Lauren's hot boyfriend? Is there a channel? No. Mm -hmm. You do have a rule called I, boyfriend, boyfriend Jeremy. Jeremy yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, again, so we'll link the discord. So let me, I wrote down all of the um, people who were uh, requesting guests left and right. Okay, I wanna hear a couple. Um, so let me, let me, let me, please hold, please hold, please hold. Okay, I've got, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just rapid fire these uh -huh. off and you guys let us know in the comments if any of these um, are exciting to you. Um, okay, so Josh Peck and Joe, they've got a podcast together. I Great. feel like that's like a natural one. We've already natural. chatted about doing it. Um, uh, Drew Afuelo, Afuelo, okay. Afuelo. She's so fucking funny. We've chatted before about maybe doing a podcast together. She, Great. she ends men. She destroys them. Do I have she to be goes, there for this? 
<laughs> yes. Okay, got it. Yeah, she ends them. She just like takes like misogynistic fucks and just absolutely ends them. It's incredible. Um, oh, Sal Volcano. I mean, that's just on there as like a I, just, guess. Yeah, there's just no way. Not, but we're gonna I, put it out. We're gonna put it out there in the world because manifesting. Sal does not give a fuck about us. Just no, make it happen. No. Just by we'll make look. it happen. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, yeah. We're aspirational guests. All right, listen. Raise, raises and bonuses are being handed out. The meet the moment Sal Volcano sits his ass right there. Um, right now. We've got Keen and JC, JC and Keen. I forget whose name you say first. I think it's Keen and JC. Yeah, it's Keenan JC. Gian. Um, Gian. Yeah. We've got Tana. So when in the Discord that was like, you'll need seven lawyers before you could have Tana's episode go seven out. Seven lawyers and seven canceled um, recording sessions. Um, uh, yes. Pet Muff, Pepperoni Muffin. Got it. Yep, Kirsten. Kirsten. Big fan. Um, Chris Clemens. Uh, hilarious. Okay, Trixie and Katya. Love it. Who are drag queens. And yep. I think they're actually with Studio 71. So they we are. might be able to make that happen. Uh, if we can't make that to happen. They're like, that's, that's, an, that's a them thing. So fucking funny. They're too funny for us. They're, they're way We're too funny for us. We're gonna have to take like us. funny classes before uh, yeah, that show. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Um, the Try Guys, obviously we can't have all four of them because we only have four microphones slash four spots total. So they we could, could do our pod and we leave. And we just go. Uh, that's pretty cool. That sounds Think about good. it, efficient. Um, but also lots of requests to just have Eugene on to do like a PI LGBTQ um, stuff. So we'll probably do a Eugene episode, which would be fun. I've also done a ton of a ton of uh, videos for their channel. So you can just like stack them up. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, so I've done a ton of videos. And so not that they owe me, but they owe me. So Eugene <laughs> can come on the pod. Okay, got it. Um, Jen M. Got it. OG YouTuber, Close Encounters. Mm -hmm. uh, Cassie, Blogilates, mm -hmm. our fit queen. Can we do um, uh, uh, blog, blog uh, what's it called? Pilates. Pilates, yeah, that one. Should we do it on the pod? Um, no, she'll describe both of us. And you're also the least flexible person I've ever met. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Heath and Mariah. I, I've been asking. Yeah, we've been asking. I've I mean, been asking. They, they just went on their whole Euro trip right now. Yeah. So um, maybe when they come back. Um, also, he, uh, Heath and Mariah, uh, Matt King and Mariah. Okay, got it. So we just, should we just do like so a So we're just rotating, month? we're just rotating through, yeah, the got unfiltered it. cast. My favorite is like the the the, the title that says like, like, like headline, podcasters find out they're just interviewing other podcasters yeah. about their show. It's like- <laughs> Literally, yeah. literally. Um, Laura Lee and husband is great. what people requested. Husband's great. <laughs> Husband's great. It's like Lord DIY and boyfriend. True. Yeah, Laura Lee and husband. Um, Brittany Broski, who is- Hilarious. Fucking hysterical. Again, someone that's like probably too funny for us. That's okay. Um, who else do we have on this list here? Uh, Brianna Chicken Fry from BFFs. Okay. Um, big fan of big BFF fan. Oh, oh, big BFF fan. Big BFF yeah, fan. I want Tiger Belly. Tiger Belly? Yeah. Bobby Lee. Oh, 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 oh. Bobby Lee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bobby Lee, Bobby Lee, yep. Bobby Lee. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. yeah. They're and like then, actually famous, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then who is I had one um um who is the other person? Well, I just Barack and list. Michelle. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, if we if we have time. I think I got through my whole list. That's it? Yeah, that's my list. Okay. Well, we've just manifested a ton of things that hopefully don't all not happen. That would be super embarrassing for us. I, that's what I'm kind of afraid of now at this point. <laughs> You've thrown some big ones out there. Yeah. You've thrown yep. some big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and if we catch nothing in our net, that is not my favorite thing that would ever happen. Yeah. Well, that's um, okay. And then realistically, if, you, if we didn't say one that you think would actually be good though, say it and then like tag them in a comment. So that, right. that, that it's annoyingly hitting them over and over again. Yes. So that they see your suggestions. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So we've got two back-to-back uh, -back guest episodes, which are gonna be fun. And then back to regular scheduled. We don't know that, maybe. Okay, maybe, we don't maybe know. not, maybe not. We don't know, we could just went crazy. Yeah, maybe That's not. gonna get us like close to a hundred. Oh my God, fuck yeah, this is 94, We have to choose which sex tape we're going to leak. 96. Have we, cho have we chosen it, have we cut it down? We haven't cut it down yet. Okay, um, it, well it's already. You know, they lengthy three hours, three, three hours, <laughs> three minutes and 30 seconds anyway. So it's ready to shit. <laughs> three hours. <laughs> Who am I lying to? Oh my God. If I'd said that, I would have hoped you would have just been like, really? Three hours. Three hours. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Who was there for the other two hours and 57 minutes? Okay. Well, Devin was there. Thank you. <laughs> um, that's all I have for this evening. Uh, I feel like we have a busy packed fuck in a couple of weeks like ahead of us. Yeah. Are we potting from Canada? How are we doing this? No, what do you mean? We're not potting from Canada. Just potting ahead of time? I, I'm, I'm personally doing three pod episodes in the next week. You're doing two and then we'll be back for- Our regular schedule program. Episode 97. Well- We can recap the internet trip. Listen, comment, like, subscribe, love below. And join the Discord. The love below from Outcast. Good night, Lafayette. Bye.